good to be together, guys. Um, incidents, the part of cycling. Um, today, let's start with you, Luke. What exactly happened? I think it's out there for everyone to see. Um, they can make of it what they want to make of it. But um, I think I can hold my hand up and say I made a mistake. And I think, uh, you know, uh, it's something I've got to live with now. And it's, uh, you know, it's heat, it's heat at the moment. It was hot out there. We were fighting for position. Myself uh, looking after Geraint and Egan and, and, and Tony looking after Kreuzweg. And I think, uh, you know, we both made a mistake. And in terms of the incident itself, the video is out there. Have a look and, and make of it what you want. But, um, yeah. How do you reflect on this, Tony? What happened in your eyes? Actually, uh, I have the same impression like uh, Luke already said. Um, it was the heat of the moment. There was a big fight for the last climb to get our uh, captains into it. For sure, we were all on attention. We rode so far five hours and 35 degrees. Um, we were also on the limit. And then we, we had a fight. Um, yeah, you can see it on the video. And um, I'm really sorry for that, what happened. Um, I felt quite bad uh, directly afterwards. But yeah, like I said, it was, was the heat of the moment. And um, this sometimes happens in sports. Um, but I really want to say sorry to Luke and also uh, to Team Ineos and um, yeah, to, to the whole cycling uh, world. Yeah, let's not make the incident too big as the two of you shook hands immediately after the finish line, just to emphasize it's part of cycling. Yeah, I mean, this happened with 14 kilometers to go. Um, we then rode the climb. We spoke about the incident and we put it to sleep. Um, we both accepted responsibility. You know, I, I'm responsible for what happened and, you know, it's just one of them things. We shook hands and said, okay, let's forget about it. And the last words you, you said to me is before we crossed the line, you said, okay, and tomorrow we go again. And that's the, that, was, that, was, that was the mentality that we took. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, you know, this one of the biggest sporting events in the world, a lot of publicity. And um, I just want to say sorry to so many people. I think that's uh, the message I want to get across, obviously to, to Tony and the, you know, Jumbo, Jumbo Visma boys but also to the Team Ineos fans, my family. I think I've let a lot of people down, but more so than anyone, the, the seven guys out there, my teammates who are gonna you know, go to battle the last three days and won't be able to help and, and contribute to you know, a, a great race. So uh, yeah, I think the main message here is sorry and to uh, a number of people. So Tony, after the apologies, hearing you're out of the race, was it a shock? Yeah, well, it's still a big shock and I feel super bad and sad and uh, leaving the team in this uh, important part of the race it's, yeah we are fighting for podium and uh, for, to Paris and leaving the team this way is, is really bad and I think also a hard decision from the jury but so far we have to accept it and um, yeah it's a bad feeling yeah. can you in some way understand the decision of the jury I think I feel, uh, I do feel quite hard done by. Um, obviously, they're the referees. They make the decision, and we have to live with that. And that's the way it is in every sport. You know, you have to take it with broad shoulders, and essentially, they make the decisions. That, that being said, I do feel like it was a bit over the top. You know, I spent the uh, best part of an hour in that UCI van with the, with the videotapes, and I was trying to fight my battle. But I was also trying to fight Tony's. I said, you can't throw Tony out and you can't throw, t throw myself out for this. It, it's too much. You, what we did wasn't right. It was wrong, for sure. But that does happen in the sport of cycling numerous times a day. And I think it was, uh, was, it was a bit over the top to, to, you know, to send us both home. So I do feel quite hard done by, but it's just something you've got to live with now and uh, accept it. And you know, hopefully we'll both be back doing a similar thing next year. Obviously, you have to live with it, but you don't have to agree with it. Is it too harsh, the decision? From, from my side, yes, I definitely think so. And what I really miss is for both of us is, is like a second chance to say really sorry. Um, we take a penalty, but please let us in a race and uh, let us do better the next days. And 
yeah, just give us a second chance. But so far there isn't one, and um, I'm also sorry for that because so we, we also can't really show that we are sorry for this uh, situation and uh, leaving this way uh, uh, maybe brings also the, the wrong sign. So far you're out of the race. Is there any possibility to appeal? Is there anything you can say about it? I think uh, ourselves along with uh, Tony's team are, are putting in an appeal, but uh, that's for them to deal with. I mean, uh, that's, that's above my pay grade. I just ride a bike and uh, we'll see what they can do. Fingers crossed. Um, I don't think there's a big chance. I think they've made the decision, but um, we can only hope.